Hi everybody, I'm Sarah with athriftymom.com and we're just getting ready to set up our mommy and to be painting uh, butterflies. Let me grab the other one real quick so you can see both options that we have. She made two. Do she... you know where the other one went? It was on the counter. Huh. Matt, can you come look for the other painting I made? The kids seem to have... Uh, misplaced it. Oh, here it is. Never mind. I found it. Okay. <clears throat> so here's our two, two options that we have. One's just, we have different shaped wings. And then one is, um, one is outlined and the other is not. Uh, Monique is on. Faith is on. As you guys join, let us know, uh, let me know where you're watching from. Where's Faith from? Um, I don't remember. Denver. Denver? Is that where oh. Faith is from? Or Colorado, somewhere. Probably. I can't remember. Okay, so I'm going to, since we have to do it different this time, I'm not able to use my iPad, so I'm going to have to try to follow you guys' comments. Uh, Vicky says, hello. Monique says, looks beautiful. Okay, so if you guys have done this before, you guys know how it works. You guys watch, and we uh, show you guys how to paint this. If if you want to have a supply list, follow the link above. Um, or actually, I'm just going to copy and paste this real quick uh, for anybody that is not able to click. Uh, Rowena says, just here. Awesome. Can I have a tape, please, Mom? Yep. Okay, so a couple basics. If, if you're... Um, go ahead and leave it where it was, sweetheart. That way people can see. Okay. So whatever you're painting on, I have a vinyl tablecloth down, or you can just do it on like a piece of newspaper or something, but you want to cover your surface because getting acrylic paint off of your um, table Monique is not fun. Uh, Monique can barely hear you. Ah, is anybody else having trouble hearing me? Let me know if anybody else is having a hard time hearing me. Hopefully it's just Monique. Not that we don't love you, Monique, but it'd be better if, uh, I heard just one. can anybody else hear me? I tell you what, face, uh, Facebook is making all these te technical issues uh, quite frustrating. Any I iPad product that I have here, LOL. She uh, Monique, refresh your browser. That's what my husband just wrote. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, anyone else having trouble hearing me? Question mark. Faith, I can hear you. Okay, good. Hopefully it's just Monique's, maybe her computer. Okay, so uh, we have, you can paint on either a canvas or we're painting on the back of cereal boxes. So I put some painter's tape. You can use scotch tape, any type of paint tape that you want. Vicky Yours says I can hear tape. you. Okay. Yours is on a plastic. Flake. Yep, mine's on a Frosted Flake box. What's yours? Yours is a popcorn box. Mine's a Captain America cereal box. Okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to tape this down. Now, if you're using a um, if you're using a canvas, you don't need to tape it down because it's not going to shift. They're a little smiley face. Tonight, um, the colors that we're going to use, I actually left a, um, in the link above, there is a... A list of all the colors so if you're painting this later oh here's the reminder anybody that wants to do this later or um or is doing it now with this live go ahead and share it into your feed that way if you need to find it later you can and it's not going to be hard to find um that way you can share it to pinterest or if you want to do it with your kids, school kids or something next week all you got to do is find it in your feed because we post so much stuff in our feed that it becomes difficult to find so go ahead and share it into your feed. That way you know exactly where to find it. Tonight, the colors that we're going to be using, we're going to be using cobalt blue, bimmy blue, fuchsia. It's Benny blue. Benny blue. Lilac mist, yellow, blue. ripe tomato, and black. black. So those are the colors that we're going to be using. Hi, Taylor from D BC, British Columbia. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and, um, Keely, you might need to look for, um, some of these.
these other colors. Some of these are getting a little bit empty. Okay, okay. so I'm going to go ahead and put some of this into our paint tray. That's not me. That's the paint making the tooty toot noises. Hey, actually, let's have her use our... Well, that's okay. Got another black. It's kind of empty, but... Uh, okay, there we go. No, Keely, you can use it. I'm just saying if they... um. They run out. You might have to shift for a different color. Uh, we have pair, we have like three other types of blue, but no like. And if you guys like what we're doing, we love you guys to make comments, give us some emoji emotions. Oh, those are so fun because they just so fly across so the screen. Um, share with your friends. That just helps tell Facebook that you guys actually like watching our, our videos. And it will help give us more coverage next time we're on. And also hopefully keep us on. Hey, do you see another yellow one here? This one's like... A yellow. Yep, we got a brand new one. Okay, why don't you... Um, oh. Wait, wait, don't put black on yet. I want to Okay, let me see. Do I have all my colors? Rainbow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next. Okay. Uh, here's the <clears throat> okay, the brushes that we're going to need for tonight is you're going to need a base painting brush Faith says, uh, you know, Sarah, they don't have to share it. They can go to your page and go to the videos and find all the videos, and that's what I do. Sorry if I sound bossy. <laughs> Faith, uh, yes, you can totally do that, uh, but most people uh, don't even know where to find the video. So for us to save us lots of emails later, uh, it's easiest for us just to tell people to share it. Um, so that is an option. You can just find it in our videos later, but it's also a great option just to share it, and that's where you know exactly where to find it. Okay, so we're going to be using our base painting brushes, which are just a rough brush, and that's what we're going to be using for our base painting. We're going to need a liner brush. Let me find... Um, so I'm actually going to be using two different types of liner brushes. I'm going to be using... Uh-oh, I froze. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, we froze. Okay, so then we're going to be needing, uh, I'm going to be using a long liner brush and a short liner brush. And then I'm just going to need a smaller um, flat brush. Okay? Want, so these are, like, these are like the three brushes we're going to be using. No, Malia, pull that one out. Okay, does that make sense? Those are the three brushes we're going to be using. Okay, if you're using a canvas, you are going to want, uh, give me the biggest brush, I'm using the biggest thing. If you're going to be using a canvas, at this point you want to spritz your canvas down, <clears throat> but since we are not using a canvas, we're using a um, moisture on our board. So at this point, all we're going to do is we're just going to dip our... Um, we're going to dip our brush in the water just to add some moisture, but then we're going to go ahead and dab out any extra moisture that we have. Penny says, hello everyone from Northern VA. Hi Penny. Okay. Penny? Yep. All right. So what we're going to do now is our base co coat is going to be the lilac mist, the bimmy blue, and the cobalt blue. So I'm going to dip my brush first into the lilac mist, and I'm going to go at a horizontal Ver angle, or, you mean not a vertical. Uh, diagonal. Diagonal, thank you. <laughs> this is a, a, a math lesson for my kids, too. I sound like I'm a ding-dong, but really, I'm just seeing my kids are on top. Uh, <laughs> or at least that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, so we just want to get a nice thick coat. And if you are just joining us, I have a clear vinyl tablecloth down to make for easy cleanup afterwards. We got it at Walmart. We did get it at Walmart, huh? If you have like a super Walmart, you can get it. Okay, so this is what, we're just going to put a stripe down like this. Okay. How big shouldn't it be? It's uh, however big you want. But go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so we're just making sure we have all it nice and thick and covered. Okay, now my brush still has some purple in it. And 
And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the next color, which is yeah. the Bimmy Blue. Okay? A teal. And I'm going to leave a little bit of space in between, so it's going to look like I'm doing stripes. I'm not doing it right next to it. I'm just doing it mm. kind of by it. Okay? I did it right next That's okay. It doesn't matter. Why do you have to do it right next That's just the way I did it. Okay? All right. On both sides? Yep. Okay, so we have our colors like that. Okay, now that I have the blue in my brush, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to grab a little bit more purple, and I'm going to go right over that space that I just left blank. And so we're going to get the purple and the uh, uh, blue shining through. So now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. The purple and the blue shall shine through. You see how that worked? And now I'm just going to go over it like this and just blend both of those together. So if grab I a want, can I have some more purple in the middle because it sort of covered all mine up? Yep, you can do whatever you want. Whatever makes you happy. Okay, so now I've got the purple, the blue, and my brush, and I'm going to go back, and I'm going to get that darker blue again, and I'm going to go and make sure... Oh, crap, I got the dark, dark blue. That's okay, just put it on your corner now. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to get the dark blue, and I already have some of that light blue in my corner, and I'm going to dab it there, dab it there, and then I'm just going to bring it down. Okay, I'm going to do my purple. Faith, are we going slow enough for you? I know you're painting with us. Let us know if our so speed is going okay. slow enough? Well, sometimes I get too fast. And if people are trying to do it, I don't go slow but enough. You mix it with that. Okay, so see now I don't really have much color going, so I'm gonna get a little bit of the lighter. I'm gonna go back over it like this. So with the blue on our brush, since I messed up, what do we do with the dark blue? So we got the light blue and then the So go ahead and grab some dark blue and then just start going down. Do I start like on the corner right here and then go up? Yep. And you can grab a little bit more dark blue if you need a little bit more dark blue. What do you do? Here, let me help. Okay, so you got your dark blue, so now we're just gonna do strokes in the all in the exact same direction. I'm gonna skip that really light section. And then I'm gonna go back to this dark here and we're gonna blend it. If we want that darker again, we'll just go back and put a little bit more dark on there. But watch out, because your brush is going to have a whole bunch of dark blue. Okay, then just flick it. Okay, I think you're about done. Faith says, a little fast, but I'm okay. I'm keeping up. Okay, anybody else painting live with us? All right, so I'm actually, for mess sake, I'm going to pop mine up. And I'm going to clean my thing real quick while it's kind of drying. Okay, at that point, we're done with our big brush, so we need to go wash it out. Mom? Good job. It looks awesome. Wait, can we oh, wash crap, it in I just messed up No, corner. well, leave that for the other stuff. Okay, so I have my big brush. It's all a color. Now, you want to go and you want to rub it with, like, some ivory soap or some Dawn soap. Rub it. Rub it into the palm of your hand like this and get all the color out until yeah, there's no more color. I know, I know, I know. I'm just showing them what to do. So you hit the soap in. You're going to rub, rub, rub. It's going to be all foamy and bubbly. Me and Landon are painting. Awesome! Yay, Charlie! I'm excited. So I'm going to go wash my brush and give you guys all a chance to catch up. Um, I'll be right back. Let me go. I'm going to go wash my brush up. I bumped the camera I know, really, I'm sorry. really bad. I know. I know. Okay, go wash your brush out. Malia, come wash your brush out. Okay, 
So I got my brush all washed out. And now you want to go ahead. Penny says, hello there. Um, and go ahead and form your brush so when it dries, it's going to be the nice shape that it needs to be. Okay? Oh, that's why she said hello there. You stuck your head in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take this extra paint off. And like I said, we just have a clear plastic down, and this just makes for super easy cleanup. Don't clean mine up. I've got like a lot of yellow, but like it looks like we won't like use very much yellow. You want yours on? You don't? Okay, that's fine. All right. It makes it look cool when you write in it when it dries. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, it, the next part is we're going to draw in the shapes of our butterfly. Now, if you don't think you can freehand a butterfly, you can actually just go print off a shape of a butterfly. Just Google butterfly outline or something like that coloring and print page. one off for I, coloring I can't page. Use the smoke okay, I will help you. Um, so we're actually going to use our dark cobalt blue to. Hi, Charlie. Um, to outline our butterfly. So we want to go ahead and get our brush wet. Yeah, and then, then we're going out. to thin out our blue just Which a little bit. Which brush are we using? A, a thin, small brush. And if you take your brush and twist it, I guess you guys can't see. Oh, yeah, you can. If you twist it in the paint a little bit, it will help your brush keep that nice pointy shape. Okay, so what we're going to start out with, what are you girls doing? We need a paint, paint box. Oh, well, I don't think we have enough small ones, so you're probably going to have to do it after mom is done. Okay, or you might want mom to just, uh, do you want me to do your butterfly out outline? Yeah, I guess. Or you can do it. Okay, so what we're going to start out with is we're going to start out with our butterfly body. And how we're going to do that is we're going to do it in about the middle of the thing. We're going to make a carrot shape. Oops, and my carrot shape's a little big. I'm going to see if I can wipe part of that off. You did it with black. Uh, nope, I did it with blue. We make it black later. Nope, I know what I did. Okay, don't argue with me. <laughs> Mommy's trying to do a billion things at once, and with you argue with me. Okay, so yes, we do it blue That's first. That's really watery. Yes, yes it's water. It's just because it's just our outline. Okay, so there's our carrot, and then we're going to do another carrot on the top of that, okay? So there's our two carrots, and then we're going to tip it down to that's the butterfly body. Okay, can everybody see that? Okay, and then <clears throat> we'll go ahead and just kind of rough coat that in this butterfly is going to have lots and lots of layers so even though it might look a little strange I'm too, oh, I was trying no to we got it net. it said trying to eat okay sit down okay so there's our butterfly body it was two carrots shapes that we kind of put on top of each other and then we filled it in okay now our wings um as you can see here i kind of have two different shaped wings here this one you're just going to make what looks like a big bow tie that's pretty simple okay that's the bow tie shaped butterfly if you want to do one that's more ovally or kind of like eyeball shaped, you can do that too. There's almond. no Mom, almond. almond. Okay, there's almond. no wrong shape. Keely, don't go wash your brush out. Okay, you're getting paint all over the place. In fact, that all needs to be wiped off because it's going to end up all over your butterfly. Don't don't put wet, soppy paint all over. Okay, go clean it all up, please. Okay, Malia, do you want to try to make your butterfly, or do you want me to paint it for you? Just the shape. 
Okay. But I want that shape, and then I'm going to outline it. Okay, so if we're going to be doing the almond shape, we're going to start just below kind of where the head was, and then we're going to make an okay. almond-shaped okay. wing. Mine okay. said hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to bring it down. And we're going to join it kind of just below where that second carrot started. I'm going to look for a moment. Can you see that? Okay. Same thing over here. We're going to go up. There's our almond shape. And then I'm going to bring it back down where the... Uh, the second part of the carrot started. Okay, now this bottom part of the wing, it's shaped kind of like <clears throat> a teardrop. So we're gonna grab it here, and then we're going to, it's kind of like a big teardrop. It rained today. It rained a whole bunch today, didn't it? And yesterday. Okay, is everybody following along with our shapes? Randomly say it rained today. I don't know if she did two drops like shape, but I thought of rain. So. Okay, so there's our shape of our butterfly. Okay, Malia, give me yours and we'll kind of start over. And, um, what do you mean start over? Well, I'm going to do your shape of your butterfly for you. Is that okay? That, yeah. Okay, so once again, we're going to do two small carrots. We forgot to do the one. It's okay, I got it. Carrot one. <laughs> it looks like a teardrop. It's and more then... of a teardrop shape. No, because it's more like an along it. It'd be like an elongated. And then teardrop. carrot. Carrot describes it better. And then a carrot two with a long pointy tail. Okay. Like the carrots that grow in our garden that never look right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, oh. Carrots that grow in the garden do not look like carrots that grow in the store normally, correct? That grow in the store? <laughs> I mean, that come in the store. Okay, so there's our body shape. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Maybe it would be better if I put it up. I put that over there. When, um, my, Danielle um, says, go fund me. Welcome to the campaign. Hope raise money provide fencing and hi. shelter for our impeccable pets. Okay, um, okay, so now we're going to do the almond-shaped wing where we're grabbing. We saw an emoji, Mom. Yep, and we're grabbing the emoji, just the very top, and then we're coming over to where an almond shape should be, and then grabbing just below that second carrot and pulling it up. I would like a bow tie one. Okay, sounds good. And then same thing over here. We're doing our I'm, almond shape. I'm just going to outline mine. There we go. And then the bottom wings are going to look like a teardrop. When did you make these? Oh, you guys were at school today. Mm. Okay. There's her butterfly. Okay. Like now, Makili. I don't still have to dry mom like the middle. It's okay. Way. It's okay. Oops. <laughs> so here's Keely. He's. Mommy, you painted it on the wrong. It's upside down. Oh, just flip it upside. It's fine. Okay. Keely, this is why I told Keely not to put all the paint around all the edges because it's left me totally filthy. <laughs> Keely, ugh, look what you did to me, Keely. Too. Yeah, but if you would have listened to what I said, <laughs> we wouldn't be purple oompa loompas. Go get me a wet one, please. I'm covered in blue now. Okay. Why do you always say My butterfly has a fat body and a big head. <laughs> well, we're all shaped different in nature, uh, Faith. In nature? <laughs> in, in, in real life, too. 
not all of us have the pretty butterfly shape. Okay. All right. So Keely says she wants. Okay. So we're going back to the the carrot shape. There's carrot number one. And Why do you always oops? Guys, what? Why what are we talking about Oompa Loompas? You said like your hands are blue. You like match hands and you, you do like the blueberry me. girl, remember? When okay, I'm a blueberry face. girl. That goes She's all fat. fat and <laughs> okay. My kids think I'm super mom and they think I can paint, multitask, read comments, and make common sense all at the same time. I'm glad that they think I'm awesome, but I tell you what, my head feels like I'm about ready to explode half the time. Okay, Could now Keely wants a bow tie, so we're going to kind of make a bow tie shaped butterfly. Mommy, it was because you said that your kid turned you into a poke or oompa loompa. Well, it wasn't even poke, it was blue. Okay. <laughs> and there aren't even warm colors. Cool okay, so this kind of looks like a bow tie. That's why we're calling a bow tie shape. <laughs> okay, and then the bottom of this one is still. Look, she's got me all purple. I mean, all blue because she didn't listen to what I said. Why do we have a stick? We have a stick. Keely, you're going to poke me in the eyeball. Stop. That's okay. Okay, so there's McKeeley's shape. Take back your messy canvas hey, and I'm don't give it back to connect. Hopefully we're still there. Is everybody still with us? Yes, everyone's still with us. Oh, dang it, Mom. I peeled it one way. Well, you can repaint it afterwards. Don't do it right now. You're going to get blue all over the place. Okay, so now that we have our blue body shape, we're going to switch, clean out that brush. Uh, you're going to come back and maybe use it a little bit later. But now you're going to get your flat brush. Flat brush. Which, um... Are we using this one? Yep. Yeah. No, you can use Do it. Do I use the small one since my butterfly is really small? Yeah. Yeah. Should I use this one? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to... I'm going to be using... McKeely. Everything is blue. Okay. You're driving me nuts! Keely, you want to switch? <laughs> okay. So no, I don't want to switch. Dang it, Keely. Girls. I'm just smearing my paint. Girls. What? Look at your arm. Look. If you guys would listen to me. What? Your yeah. That's your, not mine. That's because Keely got blue all over everything. <laughs> okay, so we're taking we're taking our flat brush, and we are going to now get the orange. Now I know it sounds weird, but we're now going to Make paint a our butterfly. whole. Butterfly orange. Our whole butterfly orange. And I'm going to do that by just butterfly. pulling this down and base coating the whole inside of my butterfly orange. We're making it into an Oompa Loompa. We're not an Oompa Loompa. Okay, so now we're making Oompa Loompa butterflies. Mm. If that's what makes your girls happy, go ahead and call it a oompa loompa butterfly. Do we need to make it like a thick base coat or like a really thin see-through? No, no, you want it to cover. You don't, but you want it to be able to dry. And acrylic paint dries really fast, so it should um, dry pretty fast. Chaotic night, huh? Yes, it is a little chaotic, Faith. Um, as long as my girls do what I ask, then it goes pretty good. Otherwise, Otherwise, we turn into a big, a big painting mess. Okay. So we're base coating our butterfly, this orange. This is the ripe tomato, tomato orange. How old is Faith? <laughs> I've never met Faith. I don't know. Faith, how old are you? My girls are very interested. At least I am. <laughs> 
Didn't she say she was like graduating or something? Well, no, she's in school, I think. Or like doing, going for prom. She was going to prom. I don't think or somebody. No, that was somebody else. But, uh, yeah. I think there's two kids. I don't think she's going to prom. Oh, yeah. That was a different face. There's two face, face Oh, wait. Face says I'm 15. Oh, wait. Are you only 15? See, I told you. Okay, I thought Faith, okay, well, is there a different Faith that has two kids? Yes, there's a different, I said, told you there's two Faiths. Oh. Faith? Yeah, I don't think you have two kids at 15, or if you did, <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's funny, Faith is only 15. And but, yeah, we have two different Faiths we talked going here, evidently. Because the other one has two kids. Okay, so we're filling in. Ha ha. <laughs> Faith, here I, here I thought you were an old lady. I thought you were in your 30s. Nope, you're just 15. You're just a little kid yourself. Not little kid. I Sorry, I don't mean to insult you. Uh, a beautiful young woman. That would be a better <laughs> way to say it. Okay. It's like a bronco butterfly, man. Blue and orange. Yeah. Okay, so we're covering it all up. Yesterday I did say, um, last time we did paint, paint night, um, you said what should we do next week, and one girl said butterflies, and one person said something about frogs, and thank you. I said, maybe we could do football, and I said, said maybe we could <laughs> so these are butterfly footballs? <laughs> okay, so there's our base coat to our butterflies. Okay. Well, fill them in, girls. Try not to cover up the blue. No wonder Faith knows how to find our videos on our Facebook page because she's only 15. And most kids know how to use electronics at, at what Better color? Than their Orange. Old people. Uh, what? Okay, the chaos. <laughs> it's okay. It's the chaos that makes it fun. Um, and what color? Orange. Oh, it was the ripe tomato orange. Seems is the like color orange, we're using? Right? Maybe darker than normal. A little bit darker. <clears throat> Keely, bring. Give me that. Um, so it's yeah, it's ripe tomato orange. It's kind of like a bronco, like a. Um, it's just a, it's like a little bit darker than normal orange. Yeah. It's like a mix, it's like red orange, almost, yeah. except for a little bit oranger. Okay, oranger. Got, it's okay, it. you know what, it's not going to matter because when we do our shape, you're not going to be able to see that anyway. In fact, you can cover up the blue. The blue doesn't necessarily, I kind of forgot to tell that to you. Oh, well I tried to avoid it as much <laughs> as possible and like got it like perfectly. <laughs> Sorry. The blue is just to kind of give us the outline, but it, you don't have to, like, stay on it. So. That's why I couldn't do it as fast as you, because I was trying to stay in the line. Coloring in the lines that we learn, that's what we learn in kindergarten and preschool. And art teaches you to, to ignore the lines and to do whatever makes you happy at the moment. Because in art, there is no wrong. In art, there's no right? No, I think it's there's no wrong in art. I don't know. There's no wrong. Okay. okay. You I don't know. So there we go. We got it all, all ready. My butterfly's so tiny. Yeah, it's cute and tiny like you. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to not wash our brush out, okay? You just washed yours out. I know. I said wash it out. You said not. I meant to say knock, but I said not. I was going to say knock the color out. Why do you just listen to what I say and stop arguing with me? Well, if you tell us not to wash the color out, we're not going to wash your color out. And then Shh. you said not to wash the color out, and then you just wash the color out. We're not going to wash the color out. I'm going to put 
a gag in your mouth. Stop arguing with me. <laughs> All right. Shh. Okay. <laughs> Next, we're going to um, gra grab the light purple. What's the and we're going to make an almond shape inside of our wing. Uh, now it's going to be. You have, like, the yes. One? Yep. Okay. With purple? Um, and it's going to be transparent, but that's okay. So this is our light purple, the same color we had in the background. And we're doing, um, and don't go over it too many times because the orange below it will, um, get wet and again and, um, blend with it. Okay, so there we're getting the purple. We're making an almond shape in the middle. Faith, do you ever paint with your mom since you're only 15? Here, I thought you were the mom. <laughs> I'm old enough to be your mom. <laughs> I'm turning into an old lady. Oh, yeah, because Matthew's turning 15 this year. I know. I could easily have a 15-year-old. It would have meant I would have been pregnant when I was 19, but... That happens. <laughs> okay. So there is our almond shape. Mom, I can't make an almond shape. What did you say? Uh, it looks good. Go ahead and do you it. You can't do it. Why? You can't do it. You said it looked good. Yes, it does. I can do it. You Let's can all do say it. it together. I can do it. I can't do it. You can do it. Mom, I can't really do mine because my orange is getting wet. It looks okay, like just do it and then don't don't rub it anymore. Just leave it be, okay? All right. Thank you. Mommy. What, baby? Okay, so we have the uh, the purple right there. And now we're going to grab this blue, the Bimmy blue. Bimmy. Faith says, no, I paint by myself downstairs, and then I go show them what I have painted, and they're always impressed, them being my family. I'm sure they are. <laughs> you go down to the basement, the magical basement, and come back up with a cool painting. Um, okay, Mom, so... My two oval things are like completely... It's fine. They're totally fine. Okay? All right. So grab your Bimmy blue, this lighter blue. It's not Wait, Bimmy. Can we wash our brushes out? No. Yeah. Yes. Wash them out. And then we're going to grab the blue. Okay? And we're going to kind of, like, like we did those flowers the other day, we're just going to flick it down like that. Do you see how we did that? Just kind of <laughs> flick, 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 flick. So the whole thing? Uh-huh. Yep. So then go along the edge, and the orange is going to show through, and then just flick it down. And that's going to kind of make it look like the ribs or the veins in a butterfly wing. Do butterflies have ribs? No, the, like the ridges in a butterfly oh, wing. Oh, like, butterflies even have ribs. <laughs> Okay, so there is our blue on that. Okay, and then while we still have blue on our brush, we're going to go on the outside of the almond. And we're just going to do kind of like a, kind of like we're doing eyeliner on the almond. Eyeliner. And we're actually going to come back and do that a few times, so don't be... Wait, all the way around? No, nope. just, just on the edges. Oh, crap. Okay, that's where we're at. What's, what do you, it looks fine. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine, so go ahead and just do that on the other side, and that's going to be how your butterfly is different than our butterfly, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and wash my brush out, and we're going to blow on our project a little bit to encourage that to, to, um, to dry. What does it go with me? Uh, it means to try to help it go faster or, or to 
to do it to make it go better. Okay, who else is watching us tonight? You guys are all pretty quiet. Tell me where you guys are watching from, or if this is your first time, or if you guys come every paint night. You can give me some emojis. 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 Okay. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to grab our fuchsia pink. Just and Keely, don't make it so thick. Because you got to come back and do our stuff. That's why you're making it like super, super thick. So if you um, make it thinner, then you can come back and do multiple layers on top because it will have already dried. Does that make sense? <clears throat> okay. So Malia, you can actually grab a little bit more purple and do another layer on top of your purple real quick. Actually, I'll do that too. Okay. All right, so I'm going to grab some of that purple and I'm going to go right back in here and do another thin coat just to make that stand out a little bit more. Okay. Aaron says, I'm here in Massachusetts trying to make every, try to make it every time, but it's 8.30 here, so bedtime for my two-year-old and five-year-old, month-old, LOL. Yes, I know it gets a little tricky. As soon as my kids are out of school, we're going to start doing some daytime paint, uh, mommy and me paint days. So that will be help a little bit with the time. Will we do any at the beach? Uh, yeah, probably. I, well, I don't know if we'll do paintings, but we will. Um, we'll be doing stuff at the beach. I like the beach. Yeah, we like it, huh? Okay. Did you get that all filled in over there? Yeah. Okay. So, Malia, go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and grab this fuchsia pink and we're going to do the exact opposite of what we did at the top. So now I'm just going to grab it, um, kind of outline it, and I'm using the edge of my brush to outline. And Erin says, I love these. Thanks for sharing these each time. Oh, I'm so glad you come. Nobody comes, we won't do them, so I'm glad that you guys join us every week. Okay, so we're just going to grab it, and then we're going to flick it upwards. And it's going to overlap. It's going to overlap just a little bit, but this is going to give the perception that, like the, whole thing, like this? that, the, that the wing kind of have ridges. In fact, I'm going to bring you guys down just a little bit so you guys can see a little bit closer what I'm doing. Malia, can you put yours here so they can see you painting right here? There we go. Faith says, my butterfly is completely different than yours. It's small, has a short body, big head, pointy top wings, and small round wings at the bottom. Ha ha. <laughs> That's all right. Take it upstairs. Your family will be all impressed. Um, or you can just make another one. You can just add another ring to the outside. Yep. Or you can. That's why I actually, Faith, I made this one first. And I didn't like the wing shape at all. So then I made a second one this afternoon uh, with the more pointy wings. What, sweetheart? Mm hmm. Okay. All right. So I'm going to. So we're just flicking that up. The, the the pink all right can you guys see that okay and now that we have the uh, the base coat of our purple dry up here that's okay and once again you're kind of doing it a little too thick like I said, if you do thin thin layers, then it will dry in between, and you can you can add multiple layers. My brush isn't working. 
Well, get a different brushes, brush. But still okay, so now I'm going to go and on top of the purple, I'm going to paint this pink. We're just kind of layering that. That way the pink is going to be bright enough. Because if we were trying to put that pink right on top of that orange, it wouldn't be very bold. So we're going to put pink over the purple and just do that? Yep. But you don't have to. You can do your butterfly however you want. If you want that middle part to be purple, then that is totally fine. Okay. So there is, and we'll also have a little pink in my brush. I'm going to go back through, and I'm just going to darken, darken up this um, bottom, and I'm kind of flicking it like I did with those flowers that we did two weeks ago. Um, and as you flick it, it's just going to make those butterfly wings kind of look like they do in nature. Okay. So butterfly like wings don't look like like the bottom one. Yeah, they do. They look just fine. Let me help you give them. There you go. You have a lot of the blue in the middle, so you just have to outline them a little bit so they stick out. Okay, so I'm going to wash my brush out, and now I'm going to go grab the yellow. Danielle says, it looks good. Thanks, Danielle. Okay, so we're going to grab that yellow, and we're going to go all along the edge with our yellow. If we were like all Yep, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to make the middle of our yellow a lot. Oops, I went over my blue. That's okay. I'll go back over it with some more blue in a minute. Um, we're going to, so we kind of want to fade out. So this part of our yellow is going to be a lot darker. And then we're going to fade out and kind of let the orange shine through the further out we go. We're just painting the orange yellow. Something happened. Uh oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to connect my thing to a charger. <gasps> Someone give us emojis. <laughs> emojis. <laughs> Take you guys. Uh, no, maybe I can just poke it in through here. Sorry, it's gonna get wiggly for a second while I try to plug in my, my phone. Oh, yeah. I don't normally use my phone, so I don't realize that it doesn't have a battery life to uh, last like it's supposed to. Hopefully, I don't lose you guys all here. Okay. Is everybody still with us? Sorry about that. Woo! Okay. There's one right here, sweetheart. Here. Boys, you guys gotta stop being so loud. Okay? Because mommy's on a live video and you back in and hopefully we don't get it. Uh, okay. so I'm hoping we don't get it. Wait, you want to do this part? Well, you are. 
you're just supposed to kind of flick it out and then. Um, I can't do it. Malia, don't say I can't. My yellow's mixing with my blue and turning into green. Um, cover it up with orange and then wait for it to dry. Okay. So Malia, just when you get to the edge, just kind of flick it. Okay. Keep going. You can do it. Uh, can you guys still hear me? Am I still working? All right. We'll just keep, keep, keep painting, and hopefully you guys can hear us. Hopefully you can hear us because nobody's saying anything. Yes, awkward silence. Can you guys hear us? They just keep asking the same question over and over. Yeah, no, she already, we already read that. That's an old comment. Okay, I'm actually going to turn this sound up on mine. So Double for a second, and I'm gonna see if we're cutting in and out. I'm actually gonna try. Oh, okay. No. okay. So go ahead and talk, girl, and let's see if our sound is working. <laughs> Don't sing that song. <laughs> Can you guys? Yep, so I've confirmed that it is a little jibbly jobbly. Okay, face says I can hear you. Okay, well that's good. But it is a little bobbly. Okay, so we're, we're just filling in all of this now with the yellow. Okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this yellow watching Leah and we're gonna just do some little flicks on top of the uh, of the blue and the pink and we're just doing that with the side of our blue uh, of the pink. it's okay from over here it looks fine are you using a toaster strudel box? No, I'm using a cereal box. And it's like it's like all like fluffy. It's like <laughs> okay. Well, wash out. Look, you have two brushes right there that you're gonna ruin. Go wash them out. Get the paint out of them. Wash them out with soap. Okay. So we have the yellow in our brush. We did the 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 little flicks on the bottom. I'm kind of just finishing up. Over here, just making it a little bit thicker coat. Why? For, the, for some reason, the toaster strudel boxes not work. Uh, the toaster strudel boxes have like more wax in them because they're a freezer box, and so it just absorbs it like different. Because oh, it's like a Captain America cereal box. It's part of the flat flake one. Good night. Okay. So I'm just going this again. It also won't like or like go on you. It's all like Danielle says sounds 
it's good now. Good. So now you can hear the chaos of our house again, right? Isn't that what everybody, everybody had already muted us and they were just right. so now you can't stand to listen to us. Boys, be quiet. Malia. My purple mails are still not dry, Mom. They're like still super wet. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to wash my brush out and <clears throat> I'm actually going to grab a little bit more of that blue and I'm going to kind of just go over the edge of where the orange, the, the, the yellow was and I'm just going to pull it down and just kind of define that a little bit more. And don't be, like because I'm painting with the edge of my brush instead of the flat part of my brush. I'm kind of using it like an eyeliner instead of. And don't be afraid to go ahead and like leave it a little bit shaggy. It doesn't have to be all matchy matchy. Okay, so now um, there we go. I'm going to actually go over this blue just a little bit more. Gonna darken it up a little bit, but be sure not to go over that yellow that we just did. Okay. And then I'm going to grab. Let's see. I'm gonna now. I'm gonna grab my purple. And I'm gonna just do a little, little tiny almond shape kind of. I just finished doing the pink on that. That's okay. You'll just be a couple steps behind as it dries. So then I'm going to do like an almond shape on the inside. Can you just do a dot? Yep, you can do whatever you want. So then I'm gonna do like a okay. And then while I have the purple, I'm going to just do a highlight or like low light on the wing up here. Just gonna put a little purple there. Where? I'm gonna put a little bit of purple okay. here. Purple right here. And then um, I'm gonna grab a little bit of pink, and I'm just gonna put a dash of pink up on the top of this wing and kind of trace it around. And a little bit of pink here. Trace it around. Uh, nope, girls, do you know where the blue bottle conditioner spray is? No. Granny had it. Where is it? Okay. And then I'm actually going to grab a tiny bit of that orange. And I'm going to go with that orange. Along the bottom here because that orange is pretty thick. I mean, in fact, now that I put it on, I'm probably going to go back over it with a little bit of that yellow. We're just going to blend. We're just going to kind of keep working it, blend it in. Okay. And then I feel like. Down here, I'm going to add just a few strips of that orange into in between those. Not too much, just like three, four, five little, five little dots of that orange into those bottom oh, wings. Mom. Say, Mom, I'll clean. Hey, pretty babies, are you all clean? Y'all nick nick? You got your diapers on? <laughs> oh, okay, Shania says sound is chopping. In and out here too. Yes, once I move. No, it's after I move my phone. And did the same thing the other day. After I move my phone, the sound gets choppy.
Yeah, you can add a little bit of that blue if you want, that really dark blue. And you can put some like you can put some shading in the middle. It's like whatever. You can't mess it up. It's just whatever you think looks good. Okay, now I'm going to get my liner brush. Now there's two different types types of brushes is I actually find it much easier con to control the long brush than the short brush but that's because I've done a lot of toll painting over the years. Danielle says it's cutting in and out. Oh no. So I'm um if you want to use the um here's Two different options. Okay, where are we? At? Okay, so this one has been lined all over, and this one is not lined. If you're not very good with liner brush, you just leave it unlined because you're probably not like the way it looks. Just mess it up. Um, you're not I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush. I'm gonna get it a little bit, and we need some black. Um. I'm just going to put a little bit of black on our tray here. And then you're going to put it in there and then you're going to twist it. And your brush needs to be wet so it's thinned down a little bit. Okay, so we're just twisting it in. That way the point of our brush um, is nice and pointy. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to make those carrot shapes again. So here's the top carrot. And then here's our second carrot. We're making those carrot shapes. Okay, so there's our two carrots on top of each other. And then we're just going to fill those shapes in all together. And you, you can give your butterfly a little head shape if you want. But I didn't like the way it looked when I tried it earlier. Okay, so then for my you're just, just going to take a brush and get out. Start at the body and then pull it out. There you go. That's your face. So I totally just messed one of the things and it looks all ugly now. Ha ha. Good thing I painted a cereal box. Oh no. Well, Faith, you know what? I didn't like the first one I did. So maybe you can just um, have your brother or your mom or your dad go eat some more cereal and start over and try again. Um, and then since you already know how to do it now, you'll be able to um, go eat some cereal. You'll be able to remake it. Go eat some cereal. I want to paint. Okay. So this is what it looks like up close. This is what we just painted. Isn't that fun? I'm sorry your project didn't work out. This, but Faith, in the past couple weeks, all of your projects have been awesome. So I guess everybody has to have one that kind of turns out not as awesome. Okay. Outlining the whole thing. I mean, did to try to outline mine? Do you like the way it looks outlined? Mm, I think it is more cartoony. It looks more cartoony as outlined. Yeah. You you like it to look cartoony? I don't know. Just doing it for fun, not looking to do anything fancy with it. Boys. All right. Along with all my other paintings. Wait, are we still alive? Yep, yeah, we're still alive. Oh. <laughs> and don't forget to water down your paint if you are going to try to outline it. Oh, I didn't water mine down. Oh, 
will just make the brush blow a little bit better. If you get it too watery, then it looks like bad eyeliner that you've been crying with. But, um... You don't even wear eyeliner, huh? That's why, because it always looks bad. <laughs> I can paint, but I can't put on makeup. There we go. Okay, All right. that's our project for tonight. Um, Wait, can I this yep, the girls want to show you how theirs look. And look, the girls outlined theirs, and it actually turned out really good. Okay, so there's my finished butterfly. People are giving us hearts. Awesome. Okay, uh, girls, are you guys ready to show them yours? Okay, here's Malia. She is eight. This is hers. See how hers turned out? Didn't it turn out good? Love I did the it. middle part different. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Looks I'm good. Done. And I made it to the outline part. I made it like to the black wing. Here's McKinley, McKinley's 11. All right. Well, thanks everybody for being there with us. Um, sorry about the difficulties. We'll hopefully have this figured out in the next couple days. Um, yeah, it's Facebook. Um, a lot of other people that are using Facebook Live, they said that their videos have been really choppy too. So um, have a good night, and we'll probably see you again. Oh, she wants to show you what she did. She added some points. Yeah, that looks really pretty, actually. Good job. I like it. All right, have a good night, everybody. Thanks. Oh, Faith says, uh, it's so cute and so pretty. I love it. Thanks, Faith. Vicky says, looking great. All right, thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.